Hi right, YouTube, Jeff Lindsay in the garage with you. It's the 22nd of June. It's about 9 p.m. We just getting back out in the shop. Uh, we went in a little earlier, about 5.30 or so. We opened up the big doors, turned on the fans uh, so we could do a little painting. The uh, sway bar has been sandblasted, clean as a whistle. Uh, put a couple of good coats of paint. The center link is done as well. But uh, when, I, when I opened up the doors, it pulled out all the cool air pretty quick, pretty rapidly. It got up to about 88. And uh, I just decided to call it for a little while. Well, we come back out, we're gonna work a little bit. It's back down to about 78 in the shop. And uh, we've got the uh, subframe set up out in the middle of the floor. And we're gonna start cutting off the motor mounts tonight and, and try to get this thing a little closer to ready to paint. Uh, my hope is that tomorrow sometime, Friday, uh, we'll be able to get this painted. And then maybe Saturday, Sunday, and Monday have those three days for uh, some assembly. Uh, I think we've got everything pretty much ready to go other than the frame itself. Uh, upper and lower control arms all look good. They're dry from yesterday's paint. Uh, we've gone ahead and put the uh, tie rods together with the connectors. Got them just kind of mocked up a little bit. Uh, subframe bushings we won't need for a little while. But we've got everything ready to go. Uh, sway bar bushings. We will need to sandblast the, uh, the little metal uh, housing or uh, bracketry that, that, that keeps those in place. And uh, there again, that's what we're doing. We're just getting everything ready to put back together. That's good and dry. So uh, we're going to start a little clean up, cut off some uh, motor mounts, and get started. We'll bring you along. All right, YouTube. 10.30 p.m. Got a visitor in the shop. We're going along cleaning up the subframe. We got the motor mounts cut off. And I don't know why in the world somebody would have welded those on, but that's what happened. Um, we got our pieces drilled. Our subframe mount holes in the back that were wrong. And uh, we're going to call it a night. And first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to get out here and clean this thing up and get it painted. I got some help. There he is. Home for the summer. Be going back first week of August. Enjoyed having it. That's where we at, YouTube. We have some more. We'll bring you along. Hi, right, YouTubers. It is Friday morning. Actually, it's about lunchtime now. We've been on this thing since about 8 o'clock. Uh, I know it's not perfect. There are some places that I missed that was kind of hard to see until I started shooting it, but uh, it's going to be good for me. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. That is two coats of epoxy primer, and then I'm going to come back over it with about two coats of a uh, of good hard enamel paint, that, that same stuff that I painted the A-arms with. I've got enough to go over it probably twice. But that'll be a little later on this afternoon. Uh, we'll get this dried up. Man, it is hot in South Georgia. Good, fresh fly. It is hot in South Georgia. 85 in the shop with the air conditioner running. I need a bigger air conditioner. But that's okay, we're gonna get out of the heat. I'm going to let this dry till well after lunch. And we'll put another good cut or two of uh, paint on there. And it should be good, hopefully. Everything's ready. Just waiting on me and the subframe. Uh, went ahead and put our 
sway bar pieces on last night late. Everything's ready to go. All right, you two, we'll bring you along. All right, guys, just coming along trying to uh, get the hardware that I need uh, to start putting the subframe back together, trying to get it all sandblasted and painted. Uh, the lower A-arm bolts and nuts, the upper A-arm bolts and nuts, all are in pretty good shape. The uh, sway bar bushing brackets and bolts, all that is super clean, sandblasted, uh, ready for paint. I'm not going to do that uh, treatment process. I kind of wish that I had, a, but I, it's kind of late in the game to try that. But uh, we're going to get them uh, painted up good with a good quality paint, and I think everything will be all right with that. So there again, just bringing you along, showing you a little bit about what we're doing as we go. Uh, the next thing that I have got to do is get the uh, coal springs blasted and painted whenever I put a couple of coats of uh, paint on the subframe. That'll be late this afternoon. We'll give this epoxy plenty of time to dry. And we'll go from there. All right, guys, just bringing you along, showing you a little bit of the progress as we go. Upper and lower control arms are on. Don't have them tightened down yet. Just kind of waiting around, making sure that we don't get ahead of ourselves. I've never done this before, so uh, just trying to go back in the order that we took everything apart. Uh, took some pictures and some video to help me help me along a little bit, but uh, so far so good. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna have to compress some springs and uh, start putting those back in and I'm really not looking forward to that. So uh, when we have a little more progress, we'll bring you back. Hi right, YouTube, Jeff Lynn's in the garage with you. It's Saturday afternoon, about 9 p.m. We've been a little lazy today, just trying to take it easy. We didn't get a lot done, but we got uh, the driver's side, uh, coal spring back in spindle back on everything tightened up like it needs to be uh we got our a arm shim back like they're supposed to be on both sides and tightened up and we're gonna get out in the morning and tackle that other side and then we'll take it down off of the stand and uh get it on the wheels the plan was to try to get this thing um Mount it up under the car. Uh, that's probably not going to happen this weekend. Just too much work. A lot of work doing this. A lot of work. Uh, very time consuming. But we're making a little progress. So uh, we don't want to mount this till we're through with the Raptor liner. And that's, a, that's probably a full day job getting that. Uh, bottom scuffed up and, and shot so uh, we're probably going to take it easy tomorrow and get back out here Monday morning first thing and at least try to get the subframe done and uh, all the linkages put back on get everything done we did get our steering box cleaned up today I think it'll be okay not any no leaks that I could find so uh, we're going to put it back on, and then if we have trouble with it later on, we'll, we'll do something then. But I think for now, it's going to be okay, hopefully. All right, YouTube, we'll bring you along. All right, YouTube, making a little progress. Looking good to me. Still a few parts. Still a few parts left. Won't be long. It's four o'clock Monday afternoon. We're gonna be winding this up pretty quick and we'll get it all edited and uploaded. All right, YouTube. It is five in the afternoon, Monday. And we're gonna call this a project for now and a video. Uh, 
We do have a couple of issues to try and take care of this week. I'll go over those in a second. But overall, I think the assembly, the front assembly of this Camaro turned out real good. I'm extremely happy with it so far. Um, we know we had our issues with it. Um, everything seems to be seems to be okay now all of our linkages uh, tie rods center link sway bar uh, spindle everything all of our bumpers are new uh, everything's in good shape so uh, now to get on to the issue of the day uh, we've got brand new rotors calipers all new bearings the issue is the outer bearing that came that comes with these uh, rotors the center hole is a little bit too small I don't know what we're gonna have to do yet but we'll get it figured out um, I, I don't know if any if y'all remember but we talked about the rotors we talked about them being uh, as exact i measured them once we found out the frame was was a little different we uh we measured these rotors out the best we could and it seems like these will work uh based on the old ones and i've still got the old ones if i need to do anything else but these bearings the outer bearing the center hole is a, just a hair small and will not go on the spindle all the way. Will not go to this point. I'm not sure if I've got to try to find just the bearing with a different size. I, I don't know. We just want to check it out and see. Uh, this is the old bearing. The center hole is right for that spindle. This bearing will not fit inside the race that's in these uh, rows. So, uh, so we definitely can't go back with this bearing. We need the outer size of this bearing and the inner size of the old one. Don't know if that's possible. We'll find out. But that's the only issue, hopefully, that's left on this uh, subframe. And we'll be able to continue. Uh, if we get that resolved Are we thinking that the the calipers are, are what we need uh, measure those out as well best we could we'll just have to see we may end up having some issues as we go but uh, uh the only other thing that i'll mention that that is a not a not a big problem i'm okay with it if you notice the a arms the upper and lower a arms they're a little bit shinier than the subframe, which is okay with me. I'm okay with that. Uh, I think I know what happened. The subframe, I put two coats of black uh, Eastwood epoxy primer, and then two coats of the paint. I, that's the only thing I can think of. That's the only thing I did different. I did not put epoxy on the A-Ohms. I put just a regular primer. A good a good primer and they turned out a little bit shinier than the subframe but like I say I'm good with it not building a show car just trying to build a car so uh, that's where we at YouTube tomorrow we go back to work uh, it'll be a little while before we do anything else other than try to figure out about the bearings hopefully uh, once we get that done that's just a quick uh, slap those on there and go type deal so uh, we'll have some more progress in a few weeks appreciate everybody watching